guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with a C. Back at you with another video, but if you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week. I try. But I do sit down to reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today, you guys, I'm actually going to be doing a 2019 um, review, kind of recap of some of the luxury items that I purchased. Because actually, today is um, December 25th. So today actually is Christmas. I'm dressed up, you guys, because I just got back from a Christmas service at my church. So want to say Merry Christmas to everyone who does celebrate. I celebrate. I celebrate Jesus. I don't, you know, be out here spending money I don't have, especially right now because I am in the process of moving. If you guys have seen my other videos, I am in the process of moving um, between states. So I currently live in South Carolina and I am in the process of trying to move myself on to Houston, Texas. So um yeah it's been quite it's been it's been good it's been really good the process um but it's been costly so no we ain't had no money this year to be out here spending on things not for myself or anyone else that i don't have so <laughs> so yeah um the whole purpose of doing this video you guys is sometimes we are quick to forget about some of the things we've indulged in or even gotten for ourselves throughout the year so, you know, if you're one of those people who you you don't get any gifts or anything like that today, um, don't feel bad. Hopefully you don't feel bad. Um, I'm a person to where I celebrate kind of like, um, well, I believe in Jesus. So I celebrate Jesus. I worship Jesus every single day. So with that being the case, I celebrate Christmas every day. So every time I can acquire an item that I really like, I really wanted, and I'm able to acquire it, you guys, that is Christmas. That is Jesus, you know, pouring down his goodness and mercy on me. So that's how I look at it. So um, maybe this will encourage you to kind of like look at some of the items that you have purchased this year, whether luxury or not, and say, you know what? I'm grateful to God for the things that I do have. Maybe I didn't get anything today, but tomorrow's another day. And today I'm going to be grateful for what I have. So um, I just want to kind of do like a little ranking, not necessarily ranking, but just kind of talk about the bags, how I feel about them, if I would purchase them again. Do I recommend them? So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, let me talk about the outfit, my outfit of the day real quick, you guys. So I just had my hair in this little puff because it's really, it's time for a wash. You know, you know how you feel when it's time to wash your hair, but you don't really feel like it. So you try to do everything you can to prolong the time. But the time, the day is coming, probably this weekend. The day is coming. But um, so my hair is just in this puff. Um, I just have like little stud earrings, my glasses, lipstick. Let me show you that real quick. Um, lipstick is this Christian Louboutin color. And this is one I didn't actually show you guys. This is a new color that I got. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale and I did list it in the description box when I did that unboxing. However, um, when I got this lipstick, it was after I did that video. So I didn't feel like re-recording or including it. So here it is now, you guys, so you can see it. But this is um, number 330M and this is the Etin Moi and this is the darkest color. This is like a deep dark purple. So I have been loving the heck out of this since I got it. Um, so that's what I'm wearing today, my Christmas lipstick. My everyday lipstick because I love me a dark lip. I just feel like it complements my complexion so very well. So that's the lipstick I'm wearing as far as my outfit. Let me get up real quick. So I have this blazer on, you guys. This is from New York and Company. I got this probably 12, 13 years ago, probably right before I actually moved to South Carolina. Still have it. Um, yeah. So I just am wearing that. Underneath, let me make sure I'm decent. So um, I have my Louis Vuitton scarf here. This is the Louis Vuitton Logomania scarf in the color navy. And this is the rainbow scarf. Logomania, yes, the Louis Vuitton Logomania rainbow scarf in the color navy. It's really um, wide. And then this is what it looks like on the back. It's really, really pretty. So I've had this for a little over a year now. If you guys are interested in a review on these Logo Mania scarves, let me know. I can do that. Have this dress from my first lady's shop. Her shop is called Far Above Rubies, and that's what the dress says. And it is from Proverbs 31, chapter 31, verse 10. So I have that one. It's just a very long gray dress. I have like just some black flats, so nothing special about that. 
And then um, as far as my bag, you kind of saw that a little bit. Let me scoot over and show y'all real quick my bag. I'm not doing like what's in my bag or anything, but I just want to show you my bag real quick. This is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the color, um, well, in the Empreinte um, Leather in the color Charisse. So I got this bag um, two years ago, 2017, June 2017, when I was in London, unboxed it, kind of reviewed it a couple different times. I just did the two year review on this bag um, some months ago. I haven't actually been showing this bag as much love as it deserves because I've just been so infatuated with some of my other bags that you will kind of see. So, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this bag. It's just such a practical everyday bag. Has a great capacity. Um, this one is a 2017 purchase, so we're not gonna talk too much about this one, but highly recommend this one as well. Um, this one, I do have like a puff on here. This is from Lindy's Bag Charms or Lindy's. She does bag charms, scarves, clothing as well. I have a lot of Ray bag charm on here as well as like a little red flashlight. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the bags and the outfit of the day is concerned. So let's go ahead and get into the bags. Again, these are just items that I purchased in 2019 and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first one is right here. This is from Louis Vuitton. I got stuff sticking all out of it. But um, this is the first item I actually got this year and subsequently the last, which is so funny. So this is my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. Let me bring it a little bit closer. You guys can see. So let me give you the 411 on the 2019 updated story about this bag. So I actually purchased this bag January of this year. And actually, let me say this too, because someone commented on the video, which I didn't take the comment any kind of way, but um, they commented and said that like, oh, she's had two Palm Springs minis. Meanwhile, I haven't been able to get one. Let me tell you how I got this particular bag because um, I did purchase again this bag this year. So um, back in January, um, I really was missing the bag because I did have this bag before. I'm not gonna go into all of that, but I had this bag. I originally purchased this bag May of last year, 2018, was defective. Ended up trading it in for another backpack and was happy with that backpack for quite a long time. But I kept really wanting this bag back in my collection. So back in January, I decided to go ahead and try to pursue getting it back. That was like a process, you guys, because I called the Louis Vuitton customer service. They kept telling me it was sold out, sold out. One of the girls on the customer service told me like, oh, you should like call customer service in the early morning because that's typically a lot of times when they're just getting their shipments in. So you might be able to secure one that way. So either call early in the morning or late in the evening. So I start calling like two, three times a day. Just when I was bored, I actually would call because I kept getting that, oh, we're sold out, we're sold out, we don't have any. So like daily during that time, because I really wanted the bag when I thought about it, I would just go ahead and call. And so, yeah, like that's what I ended up doing. And then after about two weeks, um, they were able to track down three of these bags in Florida. One was in Jacksonville, one in Palm Springs, and one in um, Bay Pines. So um, they said they were gonna give my information to all three of those stores to call me. So only Bay Pines and Jacksonville called me and then I asked for pictures, got pictures of the bags, ended up going with the bag in Jacksonville and um, made that purchase and spent a little bit less because taxes in Florida are a little bit less than they are here in South Carolina. So spent like maybe $20, $30 less than I spent originally on the bag. So that was cool too. So um, ended up getting the bag, had the bag for quite a while. And I'm just gonna go ahead into the whole 2019 story because um, ended up having that bag for a while. Then I found out back in October that they ended up releasing a new version of the Palm Springs Mini when I was watching YouTube videos. And so ended up um, looking at my bag, examining it because the main issue that people have with the bag or had with the bag was the zipper because the zipper was underneath this little lip right here. And what happened to my first Palm Springs Mini is that um, some of the canvas started peeling off around the zipper. So that's what ended up happening to my first one. And then I started to see that it was starting to have that same thing was starting to happen on my other Palm Springs Mini. So I ended up taking it back to Louis Vuitton, I think actually early last month. 
And yeah, it was early last month. Um, I took it back to them. They told me, yeah, like we can get you another bag. We think this bag is defective. So that was the second defective Palm Springs Mini I actually had that was deemed defective. So then I ended up getting this one, um, probably middle part. It, it took about a week and a half, I think a little over a week for this one to come in. And then I went and picked it up um, from the, that Louis Vuitton. And so I've had it since, I haven't had any problems since getting this new version of the bag that has the zipper that's on the exterior. Let me get in a little closer, you guys can kind of see. So yeah, this is the new version with the zipper on the exterior. So yeah, I got this one like last month um, after my other bag was deemed to be defective. Absolutely love it. It's so easy to zip and unzip now. Um, with the zipper on the exterior. I thought it was really gonna bother me, but actually I really love the look of it. Um, I give this bag 10 out of 10 ratings. Like, I absolutely adore this bag. This bag has caused me to sell other bags because I don't, my, some of my other bags don't get as much use. This is um, absolutely my favorite Louis Vuitton bag because sometimes I guess I get a little self-conscious because I'm kind of new in this LV game, you guys. I just started, I bought my first LV bag in 2016. So sometimes I do, when I'm out and about, I do get a little self-conscious about like having a bag with logos all over it. But what I love about this particular bag is that it's smaller. So um, it's got the LVs all over it, but it's not like some of my bigger bags that have the LVs all over it, um, where it's so much noticeable. Like with this bag, like it's just a really awesome travel companion. Um, you can wear it in so many different ways. I just love the smaller, the look of the smaller LVs on here. Um, and with this design and even like in the winter time, I'll wear this bag and I can put it like crossbody on like under a coat. So, you know, it's just not so out there. So I really love it. It's all weather with the, um, black leather, you know, um, instead of the vachette leather or vachette leather. Yeah. So um, I really, really love this backpack. My favorite Louis Vuitton bag, bar none in my collection. Um, and probably uh, one of my favorite bags that I have luxury. So yes, um, hopefully I won't have any issues with this one. This is, yeah, my third one. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting to get this bag, you're having a difficult time, you are probably gonna have to call into customer service quite a few times in order to get the bag. I think it's 100% worth it now, definitely to get the bag, especially if you had issues with the zipper, unzipping and unzipping it before. You're not gonna have those issues with the new version. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's just such a cute little bag and yet it fits so much. It's so practical for every day. It's practical for travel. Um, it's just practical every single day. Like so practical, you can dress it up, all kind of different ways. Like I have this bandeau on the handle here. You can dress it down. Um, I do also have this little chain here, which I don't need anymore because since the zipper, you know, is um, pushed out from the bag, it's not difficult at all to zip and unzip it. But, you know, I just like it to be, you know, decoration. So my favorite bag, absolutely bar none. Highly recommend it. Um, if you really want the bag again, definitely we'll have to call in the customer service. Call, yeah, multiple times a day if you can. If it ain't that serious to you, it's not that serious, but that's how I was able to get the bag back into my collection and subsequently able to get this particular bag because again, um, they deemed my last one defective. She went ahead and put in an order for the new one. It took a little over a week to get this one. So that's the first bag of 2019 and also subsequently the last. And that's the scripture of the Bible, you guys. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. If I can find out, I'm going to link that below. So, um, but yeah, that is exactly what happened with my Palm Springs Mini. It was the first bag of 2019 and subsequently the last. That's so funny. So let's talk about my second 2019 Christmas gift to myself. And this is um, from Chanel. And this is, I'm, I'm not going to be suspenseful because I've already done unboxings on all these bags. But this is a Chanel Square Mini. It is a vintage version. So I think this one is from like 91 to 94. So over 20 years old. It is in the color navy. So it like it matches so well with what I have on. So yes, um, this one, the vintage versions, um, they are plated in real gold. So this one is plated in 18 karat gold. And this is in the lambskin leather with the flattened quilts. 
because it is vintage. It's got the Mona Lisa pocket on the back, which I have used to put my cell phone inside when it's outside of the case. Let me show you the interior. That's what it looks like here. It's got the double CCs on here. And yeah, it's got the burgundy on the inside. Now I have the strap too. I didn't show you the inside of the Palm Springs Mini, but it's black, you know, so. Nothing real interesting or exciting, but yeah, this one has the burgundy interior. Um, got this one May of this year and um, just was really wanting a square mini and happened to find this one for a really, really, really good deal on eBay from a private seller. And so ended up, you know, jumping on top of it. And I truly and wholeheartedly believe that if I resold this bag, I would definitely get more than what I paid for it. Like I paid less money for this bag than I paid for my wallet on chain, which I bought my wallet on chain like two years ago before the price increase in London. So I'm saying like after, you know, the VAT and everything back that I got on my wallet on chain before them ridiculous price increases, I still pay less for this bag than I paid for my wallet on chain. And it's not always the case with vintage Chanel because vintage Chanel is so well made that sometimes the prices for vintage Chanel is as much, if not more than it costs to buy brand new in the store. But because they're so well made and, you know, some of the designs and patterns are so rare, people will pay that and people upcharge for those bags. But um, this one was a really, really, really good deal. Um, so I have no doubt if I resold it, I definitely would make probably more than what I paid for it. So awesome bag, 10 out of 10. I've worn it so much since I've gotten it. You guys can probably see some of those videos. But um absolutely love this bag highly recommend it if you can find a good deal um through a private seller or even on fashion file anything like that and i was able to get the bag privately authenticated through you know authenticator after i got it through ebay so and it is authentic so yes ma'am yes sir um next bag i got which was subsequently the last bag that i got um that i purchased anyway my palm springs mini was the last bag that i got of, of this year but it was a replacement, so I don't necessarily count that, but this bag was from Fashion File, and it is another Chanel, and it is my Chanel Paris Salzburg Mountain Backpack in the color burgundy in the size large. I got this from Fashion File back in September, or well, actually back in August, before um, we went to Italy in September. This was really the purpose of me wanting this backpack. I really wanted like a Chanel backpack. They are so expensive, you guys, because backpacks are still really heavily in style. So of course, Chanel's already a lot of money. And when you buy these bags pre-love, like they are definitely, they're more money than they are in the store, real talk. Chanel pre-love backpacks are more money, mo like a lot of them I saw were more money than they are in the store, brand new. But it's just the quality, again, is so good that people upcharge on them. So I, I was actually able to find this one from um, Fashion File, and it was listed in very good condition back in August. Um, I remember sending the picture to my best friend. She was like, oh my God, you have to get that bag. And so I didn't have the money at the time. So I ended up putting like a deposit on there because Fashion File does have like a service called Fashion File Reserve. Essentially, it's like layaway where you put a down payment on the bag and then you have 60 days to pay off the balance. And then after you've paid off the balance, they will send you the bag. So that's what I did back in August. Um, and then I ended up selling another bag to fund the purchase of this one. So that was something I did as well to kind of expedite me getting the bag. So um, that's what I did. And um, this one was a really, really, really good price because I could not afford most of the other bags that were Chanel that I saw that were backpacks. They were just way out of my price range. But this one happened to come up on Fashion File. Got a really good deal, I feel like, on this one. And let me bring it a little bit closer. It is in the ruthenium hardware, which is like the aged silver. I love this backpack because like, in it, oh, I forgot to mention, it's also in the calfskin leather. But I love this backpack because it's just so practical. It was just so practical for use when we went to Italy. So it's got this exterior back pocket, which is really deep. So I would fit my phone or my iPod touch back here. Um, in the front, it also has like really beautiful hardware, but this is like a functional pocket. Um, you just unzip it. You can actually put items in here. So that's really cool. On the interior, if I do the turn lock, um, I have it stuffed right now, but it's a fabric burgundy interior. 
The only issue with this bag, I think, when I bought it was the fact that it had a stain on the inside. Y'all, I got a like a wet wipe and I just wiped it off when I got it. That was it. Like, otherwise, the bag was in really good condition. Had this in Italy, like, it worked so well to fit like water bottles and other little items, extra batteries, stuff like that, because I did vlog in Italy. Go back, look at those vlogs if you have not already. Um, snacks, everything fit in here. This is why I was wanting like a bigger backpack because I was originally planning on bringing my Palm Springs Mini, but I was like, oh, if we're gonna be out all day traveling, sightseeing, all of that, I wanted a bigger backpack that wasn't as loud as, you know, all the LVs with the monogram. Even though I love the Palm Springs Mini, I still was wanting something a little bit bigger and something a little more inconspicuous. So everybody doesn't necessarily know Chanel like that. So I felt more comfortable with this particular bag. And it's not like a popular Chanel bag or design and i forgot to show you guys the bottom too which has like these little metal pieces so it's not feet but these metal pieces protect the bottom of the bag just as well so yeah i definitely feel like this is an awesome practical everyday bag i've used it for work since i got back from italy just an awesome bag give it 10 out of 10 love it love it love it so i just have a couple of small leather goods to show you guys as well that I got. Um, actually, all of these were purchased in Italy. And let me go ahead and show you actually the inside of my Palm Springs Mini too while I'm thinking about it because I didn't show the inside. It's actually stuffed right now. I don't, well, I don't think it's stuffed. I have the straps for the bag inside. So these are the straps for the bag, but it's an all black interior. And yeah, this one was made in France. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. Well, it was made in, yeah, made in Paris. So. Yeah, Paris, France. So yeah, just wanted to show you that real quick. The inside, which just has the black interior and the straps that I have in there. Okay, so as far as the small leather goods, let me show you those real quick. So the first one is this bandeau here. Um, I don't actually know the name of this bandeau. I'll put it in the description box when I upload this video. But um, I think it's like the Louis Vuitton classic bando i could be completely wrong on that but it's got all of the like classic handbags on here i think it's like the louis vuitton blanc bando is what it said on the receipt um but essentially it's got all of the classic handbags that louis vuitton you know has sold on here it's got the alma it's got the no way it's got the petite mal um it's got like the locket it's got the void chapeau the um, Papillon, the Mal, like it's got all of these like little beautiful classic bags on here on the front and the back um, or yeah, on the first side of the bandeau. Now the other side has got this like navy color. Navy has just been my color this year. It's got this navy and orange and pink with the LVs. It's got the Louis Vuitton at the bottom with kind of like, yeah, this little red orange. So I've worn this like as um, like just like a little scarf on a lot of my clothes. Like if I just have a plain shirt on, I might wear this and tie this around. Got a lot of compliments on this. Um, really love it. So I'll wear it on either side, just kind of depending on how I'm feeling. Also, I've worn it on handbags as well. So um just like um, I really like bandeaus as a pop of color on clothing as well as on um, handbags. So highly recommend this one as well. I purchased this one from Naples, the Louis Vuitton in Naples, Italy. So that's where I got this one. Highly recommend it. Just a really beautiful bandeau. My other items are actually in my handbag. First one I'm gonna pull out because this one was also purchased in Naples. This is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 15 pouch in the size, um, yeah, I said in the size 15, made in Paris. Um, purchased this one from Naples as well. Was really wanting like a toiletry pouch. This is kind of what the inside looks like. It does have the wipeable interior. Um, I have a 26. I was wanting another pouch. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna get the 15 or the 19, but I was kind of looking at the 15 just because I wanted something too that would fit in my Palm Springs Mini, which again, is my favorite bag. So um, I ended up getting this 15 that they had available and I absolutely love it. I actually love this more than the mini pochette 
because it fits a bit more and then the interior is wipeable and then it's also like very lean so like it's still even though it's structured it still can fit in like sideways into my handbags which is how I'll, a lot of times I'll kind of like maybe put it standing up and that's kind of how it's fitting in this bag it's fitting kind of like this way so really love the toiletry 15 and it's kind of making me want a 19. So this one I absolutely love, highly recommend. If you're wanting it for space and capacity, I would recommend this over the Pochette Matisse, personally. Uh, not Pochette Matisse, but um, over the mini Pochette. I would highly recommend this one over it. I think this one might be like $10, $20 more, but I feel like it's definitely worth it. Um, mini Pochette, like people use it as like maybe like a little mini clutch and things like that because it has a little chain so if you want something that maybe has a little bit more versatility i recommend the mini pochette but i just kind of use this as a pouch inside of like a bigger bag so for me i enjoy this one more than the mini pochette personally um next item um next two items are actually chanel items that i got this year first one here is the chanel O was an old zip coin purse, I think is what it's called. This is the new version that has like the exterior pocket, which I love. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this so much. So um, I just was wanting like a wallet. Typically I would use my Louis Vuitton um, key pouch as a wallet, but then I ended up like getting this one, watching reviews on it. So I got this one at the Chanel in Rome. So, um, yeah, man, I absolutely love it. Like, I don't want to show too much, but I have a lot of cards, a little bit of cash in here. So, yes. And then, like, my most used card, I will typically put on the back. Right now, I just have my driver's license back here. But, yeah, like, this is in the Caviar Leather Gold Hardware, and it does have, like, the burgundy interior. Again, um, it just has, like, the little pocket back here. This is yeah, my license from South Carolina, so... But yeah, it is just awesome, beautiful, probably, yeah, one of my favorite small leather goods now, outside of, you know, again, my Louis Vuitton ones, but my favorite, I would say this is my favorite Chanel small leather good, we'll say that. Louis Vuitton, it's kind of hard to judge because they do so well with small leather goods. The last item I want to show you guys is this one. I was really, really wanting this. This is the Chanel O-Zip um, O-Zip round coin purse, I think. I don't know. All the names sound really similar. But yeah, this one is the limited edition um, Egyptian because it's got actually the, um, that's the authenticity card, but it's got like the Egyptian lining. You can't really see. There you go. It's got the Egyptian lining. So um, I don't know what leather this is because it's got some pebbles, maybe it's calf skin, I don't know. But it's got like kind of the age gold hardware. I was really wanting this, I saw a lot of people unbox it, and then it was actually bigger in person than I thought it was when, you know, just watching people's videos. So this is what it looks like. Got this one also from the Chanel, um, in, uh, Chanel store in Rome, and I bought this one and the wallet at the same time. You guys, I absolutely love this. I. Typically, I will put um, just like little knickknacks in here, perfume, earbuds, um, sometimes like mints, pain medication. So I have like all those kind of things inside of here. It does fit quite a bit. So you guys, that's pretty much everything I got for 2019. So like three bags and three small leather goods. I think that's pretty good. Um, and I did, I did sell quite a bit as well, and I'm still possibly going to sell a few other items. I'm going to take a picture of some things today and see what I can get for them. So that might be another video I'm going to probably come back to you guys with and just kind of let you know, like, things that I've sold and why and, you know, kind of all of that jazz. But, yeah, I just want to kind of show these and do, like, a little brief kind of review on them. So I apologize. It's kind of like a longer video, but I just want to be bit more thorough with you guys so hopefully you guys did enjoy that just kind of that review on items that I purchased this year and how I feel about them um as far as yeah like the Chanel with the all-round coin purse versus the wallet like these two this is just like a little knickknack in my opinion like this is cool if you just want like a little small leather good it's not a, it's definitely not a necessity now I would definitely highly recommend the wallet like over this but I do love both 
but the wallet, I needed a wallet, so I definitely feel like the wallet is a lot more useful for me personally. And the toiletry 15, it's just superb. So um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. So if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also share it with anyone else who likes these type of videos. Also make sure you do subscribe to the channel. You do that again by, um, then like you do that again by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. I got kind of tongue tied there for a minute. That would be a great Christmas gift to me. Subscribe to my channel, y'all, so I can get, you know, again, like I can put out more videos. I can just kind of see you guys are still in there. You're still invested and interested. Subscribe to my channel. It costs you absolutely nothing to do. It just costs you, you know, just making sure you have an account with YouTube and just hitting that red button below. It doesn't cost you any money to subscribe to my channel. I'm not getting any endorsements because I don't have enough subscribers for that. So it just really helps me out. I love interacting and talking with you guys. So again, just subscribe to the channel. And um, again, you guys, I hope you all have a great, wonderful Christmas. Regardless of whether you're getting gifts or not, or you're giving gifts or getting gifts, Jesus is the reason for the season. So that's the main thing I want to put out to you guys. And just be grateful for what you already have, because a lot of us already have quite a bit of things. So I'm very grateful. And I just wanted to like really express that to you guys. And hopefully you're grateful for what you already have. Look forward to 2020 and things that I can give as well as, um, you know, whatever God has for me with the upcoming year. So again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye guys.